Hi, Claude Pulpiso here. I'm going to talk about the creator of God, our brain, the product of evolution, the universe is within, create amazing things. We have two hemispheres, and sometimes uh, they conflict with each other. And when that happens, you have a split personality, and you have believing God and generating malfunction. But in this case, look at what it does. Besides uh, uh, creating this this confusion in the hemispheres, uh, creating schizophrenia and split personalities, um, it can also create tremendous, like a computer that that calculates all kind of numbers like the universe is within. This is what happens to the this man here, which is called the uh, brain. Does he, is as he claims, brain. have some strange power to see the answers in his head. 10,000 as a distinct shape or image. Until recently, many researchers would have dismissed this as mumbo jumbo. Yeah, but there is know. now a sound scientific explanation. Exactly. With time, different parts everything is revealed. Specialized for juggling different. numbers, for example, or seeing shapes. Today we know this. If cross activation occurs between areas that are normally this separate, is neurology can get very mixed up. You might hear a sound and see a color. Yeah. Or think a number is only emotion. just beginning. Yes. The bigger question is whether we all have some of those. We all do. We us. have the universes yeah. within is what I refer to as the little rain man. Every, every year we learn Quantum more. David isn't. The science of war. David isn't. The science of this fears in our brains are out of sync. Thanks to trauma or disease, then we have religiosity or schizophrenia. And uh, in this case, alien limb syndrome. Following an operation on her brain, she's living with a left arm which has a mind of its own. Yeah, see that? And it's made her virtually housebound. We know yeah. that we create God with our brains because we can do it in the lab. We can take any Christian person or any person infected with religious psychosis and we can put probes in the brain and give them a lobotomy or chemicals and completely we alter their thinking. Ergo, there is no God. Persinger created a device that stimulates uh, our temporal lobes. It can make us... Dr. Michael Persinger, science fiction is rapidly becoming science fact. A motorcycle helmet wired to produce magnetic fields which influences the electrical activity of the wearer's brain produces ghosts, angels, and aliens. Since 1971, Dr. Persinger has devoted his research to proving that paranormal encounters are illusions, create illusions. All create religious belief and faith accept imaginary friends or entities as if they were reality. This happened in schizophrenia. All of them, there's no exception. So, this clearly indicates to us that the is a malfunction of the brain when a person is religious and a believer. It's a stimulation. When the brain has sensory depriva deprivation, like being in solitary confinement, oh boy, you'll see all kind of gods. It will be sensory deprivation can affect a crucial brain function called the central executive. Scientists are uncertain if this is a specific region of the brain or a combination of mental processes. Remember, we create God with our brain. Central executive coordinates functions such as language, memory, and vision, memory, After and all this neurological evidence, how can anyone say that there is a God or intelligent designer? They have to be deluded, extremely ignorant, or infected with a neurological disorder. The suffered a stroke to an area in her frontal lobe. My hand would grab onto stuff. Sorry, the brain. not let it go. I felt that brain. someone was pulling at my hair. And I really wanted them to stop. And the nurses said, well, you're pulling it. Is that damage? Placed close to the hand, the alien limb will automatically grasp it and find it difficult to release, despite the patient saying they had no intention of reaching See? it and grasping it. Same thing happening in religious people. The same thing. You have this if useful... If they see a cup... False idea. They have to pick that cup up. They have to do things which may or may not be socially acceptable. See? That's when you have visions and when you see God and you see I angels and you're trying to do think, things. All of that poor girl. Alien limbs caused by stroke or head injury recover when the brain naturally repairs itself. 
But Karen's case is very rare. Hey, She's happened? had it for 17 years. Look at that. The expert on alien hand syndrome has heard about Karen's case and has invited her to New York to help with Imagine his research. Imagine having alien hands and have his a mind of his own, you know, and uh, and ouch! What, what are you doing? Ah. Be terrible. Karen's alien hand is Karen's alien hand is a result of surgery which split the two hemispheres of her brain to control epilepsy. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put something in your hand. A lot of people that really just suffer from temporal lobe epilepsy. Her surgery are not side. just the brain controls the right side of the body, but the two sides from major communication. It's almost as if the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere are sort of going along, okay, 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 but then the left hand has a tendency to go off on its own. <laughs> Yes, we have two hemispheres in the brain. The right controls the left part of the body, the left, the right part of the body. Uh, there is a great neurologist named uh, uh, Julian Jaynes that wrote a book about the ori origin of consciousness in the breakdown of the bicameral mind. I highly recommend it. I think we get the split personality and religious psychosis because we have two hemispheres. Anomalies in the brain, besides creating um, believing God and other anomalies, uh, also uh, create foreign language. House, which I know how much it is. Try to charge me double how much you shot that uh, is. This is called foreign accent right. syndrome. And I I it is a struggle to find treatment. Kath Lockett in Stafford, England, who suffers from foreign accent syndrome, has personally found it difficult for his research. Difficult. And George has agreed to have an fMRI scan to assess which part yep. of his brain is affected by the syndrome. That's the best way to do it. Second time only accent syndrome. So it's the only. We should give it to the Christians too to understand what the delusions come from. Okay. Okay. By asking George to talk while the scan is taking place, Dr. Riles can determine which areas of his brain are active during speech and which areas are damaged. When the brain malfunctions, it creates God and these anomalies. Uh, another part is like a person believes that the arm doesn't belong to them or the leg doesn't belong to them. It's something strange. And, uh, and we can see that here. To understand why an educated person believes in resurrected zombies and God and imaginary friends. And, uh, and spirits and possessing demons and stuff like that and UFO abductions. The brain is playing a trick. disorders. The body can appear to take on a life of its own, no longer doing what the brain is trying to tell it. Exactly, it happens. But in some cases, limbs can feel so alien that outright rejection can seem to be the only available option. The malfunctioning brain, besides making you believe that you are possessed by demons, they might make you believe that uh, uh, an arm or a limb is not is alien. It's not yours, and it's possessed. And uh, this is what happened. Never do something extreme. He suffers from body integrity identity disorder. It's not that it doesn't feel it's not me. It's just I don't want it. Right leg is so extreme. He wants it amputated. He even knows exactly where he wants it chopped off. Mm, that there. This man almost feels like the leg is possessed by an evil spirit. It doesn't belong to him. He wants to remove. And here, the differently to the rest of his body, and can attempt treatment. Exactly. The team believe his problem is located in the right parietal lobe of the brain, an area associated with our image of the body. Didn't work, and he decided to get the leg amputated. Delusions, uh, deluded psychopathic activities by religious folks like the suicide bombers and. Uh, Andrea Yates and Jim Jones are caused by this disease. Psychotics. Women belong to the mental institution. She shouldn't be teaching garbage and lies of Christian crap on Sundays. Christian no, crap on psychosis. Sundays. Believing God is a psychosis. God is a psychosis. The problem was somebody acts crazy and kill people because, you know, they, oh, like Andrea Yates drowned their fried children. And uh, pastors sitting on kids and to, put, to remove spirits. And uh, they're not, they're not called for what they are. You know, fundamentalist Christians, they are not called for what they are. They are psychotic. They suffer from a neurological disorder. So this is the problem. That's the cause of all the problems today. Religious psychosis. As everyone can see, we don't need believing God psychosis in this 21st century. Pacho de Oro.